Hey, what's up everybody? It's Carl, aka Carl Drum Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to play your flam drags with some detail and nuance. Cue the music! Alright, if you guys are finding me for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button, red button down below that says subscribe. That way you are notified anytime I put out a new video in regards to the marching arts, marching bands, drum lines, Indo percussion, drum corps, all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single upload. Now also make sure that notification bell is ringing as well. That way for sure you'll be notified anytime I put out a new video. So subscribe, make sure that notification bell is ringing, and let's get the video. Okay, so before I show you how to play your flan brags with some detail and nuance, uh, I'd like to announce to you uh, the formation of a new brand called Ensemble Block. Uh, it was created with my partners, uh, Eric Carraway of Percasayo and Away You and Pan. And uh, actually, before I, you know, just kind of tell you all about it. Uh, I'll have my partner, Wei Yuan Pan, tell you all about it right now. Welcome to Ensemble Block. With Ensemble Block, you can easily create beautiful teaching videos, sequence and organize lessons, and empower your students to discover how they learn best. It's the closest thing to cloning yourself, allowing students to watch and re-watch your explanations as slowly or as many times as needed. Whether you're performing a piece, Explaining a concept. Yeah, that's on beat five, four, five, six. Or answering a question. This is your head joint, this is your body joint, and this is your foot joint. The potential to help students learn anything you can imagine is easier now than ever. With Ensemble Block, students are captivated through our video and notation synced lessons, turning what is typically a solitary, flat learning process, dependent on someone's memory or even access to specialized information into a dynamic and interactive experience for students and teachers anywhere. While you watch and follow along, videos can be looped and slowed down, and annotations summarize and add unspoken details. Meanwhile, our production team continues to work in the background for you, handling all aspects of creating custom teaching videos alongside you and our network of world-class performers and teachers, giving you the peace of mind that your students can always continue to learn and grow without restrictions of time or geography. We believe teaching art is so much more than learning notes, rhythms, or steps. It's all the things you have to hear and see for yourself so others can begin to understand the tone, expression, style, artistry, and most importantly, our passion for what we do and why we do it. Help teachers spend their time doing what they love most, helping their students. Use Ensemble Block on your own or with your entire program, bringing everyone closer together, even though you may be far apart. Ensemble Block, where individuals come together to form the whole. All right, so there it is, Ensemble Block. All right, see if that's something that could help you and your program. If you happen to be in a music program right now in high school or college or whatever, uh, check out EnsembleBlock.com or uh, follow us on all our social media, uh, Ensemble Block on Instagram, YouTube, uh, Twitter, um, Facebook. So make sure you follow us on all those accounts, all right? Okay, now let's... Um, Get to let's get to it, shall we? So flam drags with detail. Okay, so first of all, what are flam drags? Right, so you have flam, and then diddle, and then tap. Okay, the same thing on the left. Flam, diddle, tap. All together. Now, how do you play that with new ones? Well, think of it in terms of like three different heights, right? So you have your accent heights, okay, between nine, 12, 15, vertical, right? Uh, you have your tap heights, which are uh, three inches and six inches, right? So, and you also have grace notes, okay? And grace notes, technically, you're gonna drop those from a set position. We'll, we'll say that's a zero height, right? So zero height for uh, grace notes, three and six for taps, okay? Or nine, 12, et cetera, for accents. Nine, 12, 15, vertical for accents, okay? So for flam rags, you have an accent, right, on the flam, okay? and then you drop that grace note. Okay, so make sure you drop that grace note for that detail. Sometimes too, if you're popping the flam, it's probably because you're lifting like this, okay? Drop it and then it kind of gives it a better chance to hit before the accent, okay? So that's, you know, playing with detail, right? Dropping that grace note rather than lifting, okay? So now, after that grace note, the next note you're gonna play is on that left hand, it's a tap, right? 
those are what? Three inches and six inches, right? So technically, after you drop that grace note, you should be lifting and getting, getting ready for that next tap. So you should almost have like this little kick. Okay, as soon as you hit that accent, boom, it kicks up. Boom. Now, don't do it too high. Don't go like, all right? You're not gonna play the tap this high, right? So maybe like, you know, yeah, go up to the three inches. Okay, then you play that diddle. Chuck, digga, and then tap again. So chuck, digga, da. Same thing on the left. Chuck, digga, da. Okay, rather than chuck, digga, da, chuck, digga, da, chuck, digga, da, chuck, digga, da. Or, you know, kind of like, you know, just playing everything the same. Hi, chuck, digga, da, chuck, digga, da, chuck, digga, da, chuck, digga. There's a lot of nuance in that, right? Chuck, digga, da, chuck, digga, da, chuck, digga, da. So you see how I'm kind of lifting there? Okay, so not only does that, you know, create a different sound, right? Because there's three different heights going on, okay? Uh, it also helps you not to pop your flams, uh, to have consistent flam openness. So that's what I mean by playing with detail and nuance, okay? So it's not just having two heights, right? Axes and taps, but adding that third height, that third, you know, like uh, approach to playing a grace note, right? Where you just drop it, okay? Adds nuance, okay? So try that out, see that improves your flam brags, uh, you can do that too for like, you know, just any flam rudiment, like a cheese, right? I would be lifting there too. Okay, now right now I'm kind of exaggerating it, but you know, just, you have that little nuance, okay, you work on that slow, you'll, you'll get, you'll start doing it too pretty fast. Okay, so try that out and see that adds detail and complexity to your plan. All right, cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, do me a huge favor, hit that like button down below. If you have any questions or comments, uh, any tips on how to improve your flan brags, uh, leave that in the comments below as well so others can see it. And if you have not subscribed yet, after I told you to subscribe, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single upload, like I said, okay? And if you feel like this video could help somebody else out, somebody's learning flan brags, somebody who can play flan brags, but you know, think, Maybe they would find it interesting to learn more about like nuance and detail. Share this video with them. Okay, so cool guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Really appreciate it. And uh, you should totally watch more of my videos by clicking over here and subscribing over here. Peace, catch you guys on the next video.